Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. Um, we are today uh, going through the new modular Embrace sofa designed by EOS. We are joined uh, with, here today with, uh, uh, with uh, Mess from our product development department, as well as uh, Gernot and Martin from EOS in Austria. And together we will uh, try to bring you through the whole introduction of this new Carl Hansen and Son product. But before we start, we have a little film we would like to show you that gives you a few more details of uh, how the thing was uh, constructed, the thought, thoughts behind it, what went into the whole, uh, pr uh, the whole planning of, uh, of making such a sofa as uh, we are showing you today. So let us uh, start the film and I hope you will enjoy it. My name is Gernot. My name is Martin. And we are from EOS and now in our studio in Vienna. We have one of the first prototypes here of the new sectional sofa. And we are very proud to say a few words about it. The first collaboration with Karl Hansen and Son was in 2015 with the Embrace Armchair. And for us as a designer, it's a big challenge to work for Karl Hansen and Son because the company is such a beautiful collection of the Danish masterpieces that when you design for Karl Hansen and Son and you bring a product and it's not strong enough, you could look foolish in one second. So it's always the hardest point what to make, how to start the project. And we analyzed the SOFA program and all the SOFAs at Karl Hans and Sanna are one solution, one definition SOFAs. It's what the master thought, it's in the SOFA. And we thought it would be interesting to go another path Instead of making one definition, we make modules, we make components. And those different components, you can combine every component with, with every other component. So you get not one solution, you get a thousand solutions. And you don't get the definition of the master, you get the definition of the user. The theme of the sofa is freedom combined with the DNA of Karl Hansen and Son. What we love about Karl Hansen and Son is that they are not following trends and fashions. Trends and fashions are always going left and right and right and left. But the company is going still ahead, strong ahead. That point we love. And they are producing timeless furniture. What does it mean, the timeless furniture, about the sofa system embrace? Our idea was to make compact modules, not huge models, not bulky models. Why? You can combine it very easily, the different modules, to a landscape. When you change your life, when you change your location, it's easy to new coordinate it in the next spot. When there is a need for a repair or to make a new cover, it's easy to send back to the company because it's not huge. It's very important the aspect that the modules, they have a human size. And the human size is connected with your life. Design for us in general means hard work. As soon as we have found a direction, we are building model after model, we are iterating, we are repeating, 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 and try to find the optimum, but it could be a really frustrating process. But at the end, for us, it's very important. It should look light. It should look as we have done it in a couple of hours. And when you have the result, you feel your choice. 
there are two main ideas. First idea, sizing. You see, it is not too big, it's not too bulky, it's not too large, it's not too deep. We think it's the perfect size. It's the right size, it's the human size. The second main idea was to find all the levels from the earth to the sky. When I start at the earth, it's the level minus two. Then I go to the tablet, it's minus one. The tablet is sitting on the main wooden structure. It is perfect executed by Karl Hansen and Son. Then I go to the upholstered surface where I am sitting. Is zero, level zero. Then the next level is plus one, is the armrest, is the signature arm. Then I go to plus two, is the backrest, backrest or armrest. Then I go to plus three, is the sky. And at the end, the idea was to find the, the sofa system in between the earth and the sky. For us, it's a poetical idea. Design is always a poetical discipline. Well, that was very good. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Um, we now think that we will go on with, uh, with uh, a little explanation on how this was made. Hmm? Yeah, we, uh, we can say that um, what's kind of special when working with EOS is that also that it, what they explained in, in the video is that all the preliminary uh, tests has been done in how this should look. They have made uh, a bunch of different prototypes. Uh, we have been presented with, uh, with drawings, renderings, uh, scale models. Mm -hmm. And um, when I visited them uh, the first time after we uh, we'd agreed to do this sofa, they have already done complete scale modules of it. And as you also s uh, saw in the video, there was uh, a whole pile of different armrests before they presented it to us. Um, and. And that's also part because they know us very well. They know what they uh, that we're not we're not going to say yes to the first idea they get. So, uh, so well, in, in fact, it took uh, it took years, a few years, to uh, to get to know us because we are a well-established uh, company, 113 years old, and um, we have certain criteria that we wish our furniture to fulfil. One of them is, of course, that uh, they are, will be part of a family. Karl Hansen & Son is a family company, and if you supply us with furniture, they must fit in together with the rest of the family of products that we produce in Karl Hansen & Son. So, I mean, that was a challenge, and therefore, uh, through these years we have worked together, we got to know each other very, very well. The only little problem we have had here is, of course, the, uh, the corona. Uh, 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 pandemic where we have not been able to be together, so everything has happened over, over, uh, over, yeah, yeah. over the the visual system. Yeah, actually, I think it was uh, it was Milan two years ago. We first got to sit down and talk about it. We have mm. just presented the the tables um, and the, the the dining chair from from years yes, in, right. in 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 twenty nineteen. Yeah, uh, and we we discussed about that. We had had the, the vision about creating this kind of uh, sofa, um, but um, for um, a younger audience, but something that fits into our DNA. And uh, I visited them uh, one time <laughs> in, I think it was uh, January uh, 2020, yeah. and since we haven't seen each other. <laughs> so this has uh, been a very uh, different uh, development uh, experience because everything has been done over FaceTime. Yes. So it's been... Um, uh, meeting on Teams on FaceTime and uh, sending things back and forth a hundred times before we got to, to this uh, end result. Yeah. Um, but if we 
should explain a little bit about the the whole concept is that we right now we are only sitting in three different modules but but the whole system is uh, quite big we have 10 different modules that can be uh, put together in in thousands of different ways um, in in general we have two different sizes of the seat we have a, a 90 and a 120 size and we have uh, a module uh, one that Knoderic sits in with no armrests and we have uh, with armrests and uh, a tablet at the end and we have that in both the 90 and the 120 size then we also have the corner module here of course in a right and a left version but also in the 90 and the 120 size and then we have the, the armrest version with the signature armrest, uh, well, the one I'm sitting in, also in the 90 and the 120. And then we have a couple of footstools and footstools with tablet. So in total, I think there's uh, 10 different modules, mm -hmm. um, all built around the same system, but uh, gives you uh, a bunch of different uh, opportunities to, to put these uh, furniture together in, in different ways. Um, what's been quite um, a challenge uh, for for the design for us to do this kind of sofa, we have talked about a lot of time, Knudek and I, is that this is uh, reaching for a little bit of a younger audience, but also for, for contract use, where you can put them up, uh, up next to each other and fill out a, quite a big space, is uh, we, we have a very classic portfolio. Yes. And uh, it's difficult to do these kind of big furniture for for us. Uh, and what we think that EOS did quite well is try to to uh, to create that bridge between the two two things: the the big sofa that you can put your whole family in, but also something that is true to our DNA. Um, and what they have done that is uh, unique or uh, different from these uh, other kind of sofas uh, like this is that they they kept everything unnecessary out. Um, uh, what you can see is that it's quite light. You have uh, uh, a big gap from, from the floor going up, and the seat is not that big compared to uh, uh, a lot of other sofas. Uh, most sofas have a seat, same size, but then they have a lot of nothing underneath, but it's just big and bulky. <coughs> so instead of, of uh, hiding what's going underneath, they lifted everything up. Um, it's the same thing about the back. <laughs> That is, uh, when you remove the cushions, it, it looks quite simple that you only have a seat and a back uh, attached to e each other like this. And if we could go around and look at it from the back, um, that gives us that the whole profile of the sofa is very, very neat. It's not that big. Mm. So if you put it uh, out in a, in a big space and you have to see the sofa from the back, it doesn't look like a wall. It uh, it looks light even if you look at it from the back. Um, so the and it it, it looks quite quite easy, but that's actually been uh, uh, <laughs> a big challenge um, because the structure have to be very light. So uh, we have to make up some very clever solutions. We at least we think ourselves to yeah. to make this work. Um, and it means that inside the sofa we have uh, solid beech wood like we always do to have this kind of weight and uh, of course the quality uh, that we want. We, we have uh, high quality foam and uh, down in both the, the cushions and, and the seat. And you have springs underneath, so you give a quite a, a, a good comfort. So even though the, the cushion is, uh, is not that high, mm. you sit very, very soft. And you're able to move these uh, uh, back cushions around so you, you can get comfortable even though if you're if you're a small person you just you just pick two of them yeah. if you have the if you want to move your legs up uh, and, and sit and watch, watch a movie you can do that um, so it's very um, it's very flexible yeah. um, I would also say it fulfills all the requirements from Carl Hansen in making uh, uh, all at least all the scene parts, or actually the whole this for this part here, the, the whole sofa, in wood. Uh, this is uh, important for us. Everything we produce is made of wood, and of course for the environment that is by far the best. Uh, but it is of course um, something that you have to 
really know about dimensions and how to construct the, the sofa so that it will last and last and last for generations. And this is exactly what this here does. Yeah, exactly. The, the, usually when you have these lighter sofa modules, you have a metal frame. Yes. And uh, we, we of, of course, we turned into to wood uh, to create that, but we still wanted it to be a, a high quality. And we also get, went for uh, getting it tested for contract use, a hard contract use. Um, and we, we couldn't hide any construction here because then we will lose all the lightness. So we actually turned to to make that work. We uh, usually when we do like uh, uh, cabinet maker details, we like to show them. Mm -hmm. But in this case, um, you can't see it. But there are some some clever solutions underneath where where we use some old techniques old techniques to uh, assemble these pieces. So you can do something very very light, but uh, but have a very very strong fixture. And this this detail is not something you can actually see, but is um, is a big cornerstone in, in making this happen. That you have this very light profile of wood that can withstand uh, the pressure you get for um, when sitting in this sofa. Um, yeah. Another thing that we did, when the, uh, and if, uh, if we could, we could lift this up and uh, see underneath that we, we didn't try to hide anything. So you can see underneath exactly what, uh, how, it, how it's done. You can see the, see the springs and you can see how we, uh, we chose to, um, to close off the, the upholstery goes into a groove underneath here and, and the groove and the, what's it called, the staples mm. are covered with a, a paper court a paper court we're using in in a lot of other furniture yeah. we have used that to to uh, as a detail underneath yeah um but you can see that uh, when you see the sofa live at some point mm -hmm. okay. yeah when you carry it around <laughs> yeah uh, do we still get uh, have Gernot and uh, martin on was there anything Ooh. i left out <laughs> <laughs> well, they are. I think we have. The wood arm. The wood arm is perfect for have your sleep. Yeah. When you put the cushion on the on that signature arm, it's the perfect height to have, to to take a rest, to take a nap. It's a cushion. Yeah. Yes, it's very good. Yeah, if you, if, you, if you go like this, you'll have a perfect yes. angle for a nap. Yeah. Yes, exactly. That is a very important. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, but it, it has been quite challenging to do this a kind of um, uh, development where we couldn't see each other. And it's been difficult to be uh, looking at Vienna and we're working with an iPhone to discuss details mm -hmm. and difficult to, to get a feel of the, uh, of the furniture. So it's, it's been a, a different and a little bit of special process, but, uh, but I think we, we, we got it right. We just need smaller details uh, at the end. But, uh, well, the difficult part is always to get it to look simple. I mean, that is a complicated thing. Um, it's very easy to put on a lot of details, but to have that simple look, which it has, uh, and still be <coughs> one of the most comfortable things you can sit in, it's, it's fantastic. It's very good. Mm. Yeah. So, of course, we are looking forward to the next thing we get from you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure you're working on it already. We just don't know because we can't see each other. <laughs> yeah. So for us, it's really important these two uh, reference systems that on the one side you have a, a piece which relates to the architecture. Mm. And because when you have a big configuration, it's, it's the, the relation to the room. And on the, others, on the other side, it's... Um, Every individual piece has, as Martin said in the video, is a human size piece. Yeah. So every piece, when you put every piece out, it works on its own and it's even, it can work. It's almost like a chair, like a single seater works on its own. Yeah, that's correct. Because um, 
it is a completely finished furniture, so there's no uh, bad solution here in between. So if you decide to uh, to take it apart, that is is completely finished here. So and that's also gives that kind of flexibility. If you move move to uh, a different house or you move your setting, there's no there's no ugly side of uh, of this uh, furniture, uh, and it's quite easy to to move around. That's very good. Yeah. Um, another thing you can't see is that. Underneath, there's, we made a, a quite a simple uh, system by how you click these modules together, and when you when you get each module, you get two of these linking brackets. So in that case, you'll have uh, two leftovers. But we have we have uh, seamlessly pre-drilled locations in all um, all the possibilities where you can put these together. So so you can just take them off and put them in in a different place if you're your requirement uh, changes. Yeah. Um, Very good. So it's quite easy. It just gives uh, the last pull. You pull the modules together, um, but uh, quite easy to to change again. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's uh, that's more or less uh, what we can tell you about the 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 more technical parts of the of the. And you said the being of of this sofa. Now it is up to our customers to like it and to um, to get on with the with, with the, the the decoration of new homes, uh, hotel lobbies, or wherever you want to use the uh, the the embrace uh, sofa. So um, you can always uh, contact any of our representatives uh, and uh, get all the the details uh, perhaps a little bit more thorough than we have been able to do here on the film. But uh, at least uh, I think we have woken your interest in this new product. And um, I can say that uh, later this month there will be a configurator or a customizer, digital customizer available. Mm -hmm. So you uh, uh, you'll be able to play with all the different solutions you have here. Um, and a, a thing you'll notice in there is that y we also give the flexibility of of choosing different uh, fabric on the back cushions than the rest of the modules. So if you like to play with different colors or mix and match, you can do that. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's not fixed, so when you buy a module, you, need you, you get one cushion. You can decide if you want two cushions, two, one big and one small, um, for, for whatever fits your, your purpose. Um, and we'll make sure that it is packed that way when we send it out. So the, the modules you pick in your customizer online, you, you, you get it in, in a box with, with the cushions you have, uh, you have chosen. Um, and that's uh, be also because of uh, we're looking into to, to minimize the, the fright uh, of air simply. So, mm -hmm. so the, the customizer gives you a tool, but it also helps us uh, fill in um, the air in the packages with these cushions, so you don't get extra uh, un unnecessary packaging or uh, unnecessary uh, material you need to get rid of afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, and of course we uh, we before we started this, we uh, we asked if anyone had some questions for us um, regarding the sofa. And we, we, we got the, the question that we also mm. uh, didn't remember to talk about. We, we got a, a question from Japan, if this sofa comes both in fabric and in leather. Um, and it does. You can only see a fabric version here, but it also comes in a leather version. And as I explained, you are able to mix again. So, so you can get a, a leather seat and choose uh, some of the cushions in leather, but the rest of them in fabric, if, if you want. Um, Another question we got from uh, Thomas in uh, in the UK is that how long it took the the whole design process, <laughs> and uh, I think we m we might should ask uh, Gernot and and Martin of of that because we only talked about it in 2019, um, but then there was a big period where I did nothing, where uh, we were just waiting for you, uh, so. <laughs> So, <laughs> but but we did a lot. 
I know. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it. And it took two years. Two, two years, but it is normal. You, you need the time. Mm. And um, communication between Knut Eric and you and and our time we needed. And two years is okay for that sofa system. And, and at the end, the sofa system is so special and, and we love because every module is working alone at the end. You are sitting in a, in a, in a super configuration, but every module is working alone. And every combination is working. And every combination could change any time. And that point we love. <laughs> uh, me too. That Great. Very good. Yes. Uh, we also got uh, a, a question uh, from uh, Martin in France that actually asked about this concept, the, the human size that you mentioned in, in the video. Um, can, can you elaborate on this and uh, uh, how does this, that came about, that expression? Yeah, we think Karl Hansen and Son is the company um, of the human size. Because everything you produce has a human size. And uh, this was the difficult thing for us because a sofa has an architectural quality. And we tried to combine both. We have elements which have a human size. And when you add elements and make it a configuration, it gets an architectural size. And we think it's really the Karl Hansen DNA is the human size components. Yeah, that goes back to very many years in our culture, of course, that right from Carl Clint, uh, who measured the human size and the human person when he decided, designed his furniture. Uh, I think that goes through all the way up till until today. And uh, we still produce Carl Clint uh, furniture. And then, uh, of course, uh, we know how precise he was about uh, meeting the criteria of a average human being. Yeah, so that's very good. Yes. Yeah. Um, another question that we got is uh, how is sustainability reflected uh, in the sofa? Um, and you, you have talked a little bit about it, but um, of course the, the, the materials we're using is uh, the oak is FSC uh, um, oak and also the, the whole fright issues that, that we talked about. We, we have thought about uh, even in the process of how you should purchase that or work with the customizer, how that can minimize um, uh, flying out uh, air and having um, too much material. But, but um, yeah, and of course the surface treatment of the wood is like all Carl Hansen Sun, that is, uh, even though it's oil, it's a wa water-based oil that we use. Um, and the whole thing is that when you can, you can take the sofa apart. So if you, if you spill something on the seat, you will be able to, to take that seat off of the frame and get get that one uh, reupholstered and it's it's a loose cushion you uh, you get you can you can uh, take it off and um, and replace only part of it so, uh, for us that's a big part of uh, sustainability that you you are able to fix what's wrong with it instead of fixing the the whole sofa um, and of course the whole sustainability is also the design of this being modular so, so instead of you moving to another house where you have your, your living room looks a little bit different, then you have to get a new sofa. In this case, you could you can change the sofa so it fits your new home, so you can keep it for for uh, many years. Um, so, the whole idea of this modular sofa, where you can put it together in, in so many ways, makes it last longer. In, mm. in our opinion, which is very important. Yeah, I mean. Uh, Besides using nature's own products, uh, wood, uh, wool, uh, leather, and other material that we all get from nature, it is also very important that the that product will last. And I think we have uh, we have a a history in Karl Hansen and Son of producing only furniture that lasts for generations. And uh, so your children will one day be fighting over your sofa. This is a nice thing to know. <laughs> 
Yeah. Um, and that was uh, the questions I uh, got from now. So we have been around um, all the technical details. We have been around the su sustainability of this product. We have talked uh, to Martin and Gernot, whom we would like to thank very much for, um, for being with us. And thank you very much for all your input. And for the years we have worked together, it's been always a big pleasure. And I hope that we soon will find another reason to get together. And for the rest of you all, uh, thank you very much for listening in. Thank you for being with us. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, the whole in introduction of this new product. And um, we uh, also, of course, welcoming you uh, to uh, study a bit more and to speak to our own people all over the place in all over the world um, to get a little bit more information that we have been able to give you here on the on the film so thank you very much and uh, all the best thank you